So welcome to the show where I am delighted to introduce you to one of my amazing graduates, Emma Louise Parks. Welcome, my love. Thank you. It's so lovely to see you. It's been a while. I know, I know it has been too long. We were just talking actually, listeners and watchers, how quickly it's gone. Like Emma Louise was in our first cohort of the Conscious Consultant um, Certification in April 2021 and it's flown, right? Yeah, it's gone so quickly and I think our graduation was about a year ago from yeah. recording this it was like the end of October so I, I can't believe that's a year it's flown it's flown so now Emma Louise is a business coach and consultant but what I want to start off with is where you were before doing the certification where was the business then what was your story so the business at that point I think when you put the details out about the certification it was January 2021 or maybe December 2020 yeah. even. so it was around that that Christmas New Year period and I had been in business for two years at that point and I'd been full-time in business for a year and I had just I just hit my second five-figure month not consistent so everything was still a little bit up in the air but I was very much more focused on mindset coaching. So that's my background. I'd been a coach for probably about 10, 11 years at that point already in the in the real world, I'm going to say, just not in the online space. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then when I had refined my message and I'd niched down and I'd started working with other introverts like me, because I realized a lot of the struggles that I'd had early on in business around visibility and that kind of thing were kind of energy related, not just mindset related, but, mm. you know, to do with that energy and how it's not always that natural for us to, you know, show up on video and all of that. So I really wanted to help those people that were very similar to me that were, were going through that. And of course the mindset work was great, but I really wanted to help them with business as well. Mm. I, I wanted to be able to give them a more rounded support and I didn't want it to be like, Oh, I did this just copy me and you know yes. this will work for you because I, that's clearly very damaging as we all know yeah. so when I saw the certification I wasn't looking to invest in anything I wasn't looking for a certification but I think I told you this I read the email I was just like yes <laughs> just like a, a full body yes <laughs> I know. I love that. I loved that reaction. And, you know, that's absolutely right, because that's that is how I've developed the methodologies, which now you use time and time again inside a certification. And they aren't just what I've used. They are what I've developed with my clients over almost gosh, a decade of working with online business owners. And I think that's a really important point because we don't want a lot of people doing the same things. We don't want it to be cookie cutter. We want frameworks that allow nuances and allow flexibility and allow it to be bended and flexed in different ways and used in different ways. And I think that's a really, really important point. And I'm really looking forward to actually learning about how you've done that and how you're using them now, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. So um, did you have, before you started, if you think back, did you have any idea what you specifically wanted to get out of it at that point and I know it may be different to what you have now yeah it's definitely what I thought I would get is definitely different to what I got what I thought I would get is all of this information about like strategy and maybe building out programs and marketing and I thought I was going to have all this information that I didn't know and you're going to teach me all this information. And I was going to be like, great, I've got all this information to you know, go and share with my clients and use with them. What actually happened is I knew more than I thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what I got was the real confidence of, okay, I can, I can trust myself. Like I know a lot yeah. of this, but what I got was it laid out in just such a I'm going to say user-friendly way mm. for me to be able to use with clients, share with people within my programs um, and plug the gaps. That's how it felt like there's, yeah. you know, if I maybe couldn't connect two pieces of strategy, there's something in there that enabled me to plug them together. Yeah. I love that. Cause I think that's really important. I see that a lot. Cause obviously I've had a few people go through now since you, and I've seen that a lot, the it's almost the, um, the confirmation 
that they do know quite a lot of this stuff already and and they've been stuck in a place of questioning and and doubt and not trusting themselves and I love seeing that those kind of those real light bulb moments when people are like oh my god I do know this and now I can see how I can use this in a different way which is just it's just beautiful because it's all about empowerment isn't it a lot of yeah. that and it's been able, it's allowed me to empower my clients as well, because mm. where we may have spent half a session talking through something, now that I have all of the assets and the frameworks, you know, my clients are smart people. I can say to them, right, I'm going to share this with you. Go away between the sessions and do this research or work yeah. through this, you know, work through this worksheet and, and then come back to me. And it's allowed us to use our sessions for more of the mindset and the deeper mm. work. So it's been perfect. Yeah, that that really, particularly with you, that really makes sense because you need that space to be able to go deep because you do go deep, don't you? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right. Tell me a little bit about why you chose me or that specific certification at that point. So like I said, I wasn't really looking for a certification, but I had been in Consistency Club. I, I think I was not quite a founded member, but I was very early on. You were, you were early doors, weren't you? I was. And I, funnily enough, I didn't know who you were. And at that time I was working with a coach and she said, Oh, have a look at Gemma Went because she is, I was you know, just doing the mindset coaching at the time. And she was like, mm. Oh, I think she'd be an ideal client. So look at her brand, you know, look at where she is in business and, and all of that. And then I found Consistency Club and thought, oh, I'm going to join this. So I love that. So I joined very early on and I really just loved the way it was laid out. I loved all of the information in there. I thought it was super clear, really, really helpful. And I used it as a bridge when I was in between coaches. Mm. And then when I started working with a one-on-one coach, I left because I didn't like mm. to have too many things going on. Because I, mm, I get that. And, um, but I, I always, you know, really enjoyed it. I recommended it to a few people, a few of my clients joined. And so obviously I had fond memories of, and I think our brains operate in very similar ways as well. So the way you had the roadmaps and everything laid out to that, that just worked for me. So that's why as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, if it's Gemma, I'm in. I love that. Thank you. And I'm still to this day, very honored that you chose me. Um, all right. So let's fast forward to after the graduation. Share with me one of those one or two big successes that you've had since. I launched my first group program. Yay. So I had run masterminds previously, but they were true true masterminds. So, you know, facilitating the hot seat in of people. Yes. Yeah. But I was able to run my first group and I'd had, I definitely had some limiting beliefs around this, um, not just from an energetic space, but because my clients are all so different. Like, how am I going to, support so many different people in a group. I can't create content that works for all of them. And of course, by doing the certification, I realized I could because I could give them a framework and they get to choose what they take from it. So I designed and launched the group in, I think I launched in March and we kicked off in April um, of this year. And I had a wait list for it. I didn't do a big public launch. Um, I was, I had COVID at the time. Oh my God. I know it was, it was definitely a a time, but I've got these amazing women in the group and ran through it with everything and hundred percent of people stayed till the end, which I didn't even know wasn't a thing. A friend said to me, she was like, Oh, do people drop out of your group? And I was like, no. (laughs) completion rates are a thing yeah so that's amazing it's really great so it's a four-month program very different businesses in there people at different even at different stage of business um but you know they loved it it gave them the support that they needed and then they decided to continue working with me so we have like a little continuation mastermind now and they they have lifetime access to the group so they have all the frameworks and then they're starting now to be able to bring in things from there that maybe weren't relevant when they were brand, brand new to business, but you know, they're kind of three or four months in and it's like, Oh, go back to this now. How about revisiting this? Like one of them's just launched a lead magnet and she's got her first subscribers on her email list. So she's able to revisit that when she needs it, which is perfect. I love that. And did you, did you say it was a hundred percent retention rate following the program? I mean, those stats are amazing. You should be proud. hundred percent completion. 100% 100% retention after a group program that is that is pretty good going and they loved working through it 
they mm. again because they're like us <laughs> they're our people yeah. <laughs> they're introverts but you know everything the way it's laid out and it made sense to them and it's funny I spread it out over four months and mm. a few people were like oh you don't want to make it that long people want a shorter group and I was like nah they it needs the integration weeks yeah. it needs a bit of space and one of the ladies in it she was like chomping at the bit like oh, when's the next bit? When's the next, you know, very much rushing through. And she's like, I trust you. I trust that you've put gaps in the right places. But, and actually we got halfway through and she went, I need to change so much. I've just realized. And then she's like, thank you for not rushing, <laughs> rushing us through. Right. And I think, you know what? I think that's a thing in this industry. There is so much pressure put on getting to success or an end goal fast and actually I think that's detrimental to us and we need we need the space to be able to kind of flow through it and we need to be able to embody and then realize oh that doesn't feel right and then change things around a little bit and play and test and if we're rushing we miss all of that time which which is actually the time we need because that's where we get the gold nuggets right and those those amazing moments of insight where we think oh my God, this is it. This is what I want to do next. And so we need to have that time. Yeah. And it's been perfect for them. A marketing person was like, oh, make it eight weeks. No, nobody wants a program longer than eight weeks. And I was like, "Uh, no, (laughs) I think we'll do 16. And you know what the thing is for those people that want to do a program for eight weeks, they can find a program for eight weeks elsewhere. But your people are very much like my people. They want a little bit longer. They want some time to really get into it. So I love that you did that. Can you share a little bit about, um, uh, without giving too many things away, can you share a little bit about what you've included from the certification in this program and how you've used it? Because I think that's really interesting. Yeah, so the program itself was developed for newer business owners because I was full with my one-on-one. Obviously, the investment for that sometimes precludes people that are that are brand new to business so I wanted to create a container for them so I took uh, the visions and values because I always do values work with my people anyway because I'm an NLP practitioner mm. so we had a really strong foundational module where they got clear on what they what do they actually want and you know as always a lot of the time it wasn't what they thought they mm-hmm. thought they needed 10k months or this that and the other so we were able to get really clear on yeah their core values what they want to achieve and then we worked through a few of the frameworks first of all the uh, market research because you know a lot of people as you know when they knew it's a business they've got this idea dear an ideal client avatar but it's a bit of a made-up thing and it doesn't really mean anything so they went deep into the research which again our people love it wasn't an issue getting them to do that competitor analysis and just understanding where they could sit in the market understanding what was available and where they could position themselves I love that love we- that you're doing that And then we created their offer, which was, I think that was a whole module Mm. on creating the offer and understanding like how it works. What is the customer journey? What are they struggling with when they come to you? And what do they walk away with? And really breaking it down into steps. And I think especially new coaches get really stuck on this because they're Mm. like, they come into me for coaching. (laughs) It's like, "Mm, no, not, not quite. So we're able to really get clear on, you know, what do they struggle with? How do you help them? And, And then how do they what do they walk away with, which mm. really helped particularly one of the coaches I'm thinking of with her confidence of, oh, of course, people will pay me and sign up with me because mm. look at this offer. So so that was really great. And then I took a little bit of the marketing, not all of it, because your marketing framework is very comprehensive in a good yeah. way. Yeah. But for new business owners, it I didn't want to overwhelm them. So we took elements of it that enabled them to get a consistent online presence on one platform, but also grow a, propri- a proprietary platform. So either a YouTube, a podcast, or a blog alongside. I love that you did that. I love that you made that marketing framework work for your people and created sort of, it's almost like the light version of the system that that works yeah. for your people so they can get going and then they can get stuck into the other stuff later on. Yeah, absolutely. And they can have access to it all, but it's like for right now, don't 
get over they all want to jump ahead as well and I'm oh, the always so always. I, dri- I drip fed everything I was like you're not you're not gonna go ahead because you're <laughs> gonna get too excited about about this but um but yeah when we look you know someone that's been in business longer that framework is fantastic mm. but I didn't want to put them into that kind of state of freeze at looking yes. at everything and going how can I do all of this yeah I love that you did that are you doing anything with the energy uh, system with them so we are doing one code now the funny thing is I popped a code in there and oh, which one was I going to use and it, everyone was sick we had so many people with covid oh, and something oh. else happened I think I, I can't even oh, it was the really hot weather as well yeah. in, in the summer so we decided to postpone it so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with them but Good. I've chosen um I think it was like self-worth actually and it That's was a nice when one. they're about to start marketing so they've got their offer and it's having this belief that you know they are they deserve it so we've we've po- postponed that but we are going to do a group code lovely because I think that you know if you think about what you've blended there you've got the strategic stuff to really get them going and the tactical stuff as part of that you've got your own mindset um, knowledge and skills and methodologies and then the energy work as well it's like you've blended all of that important stuff together that's going to create momentum and move them forward yeah and they have EFT videos with each module because obviously it. I'm an EFT practitioner so they've got them there so even like the first few times they were posted on social media we had like a visibility one so I was like just go and do the tap it's just like five minutes and then and then go and post be useful I love that so since you graduated to now have there been any surprises or things come up that you weren't quite expecting were going to come up thinking about when you graduated from this certification yes I thought what this is going to do is give me all these frameworks I'm going to be able to pop them you know into my portal and create the the videos people are going to go off and do it and we're going to do all of the mindset coaching on the calls I have found a love of strategy I love this I love this and I I don't know why I didn't think I had a strategic brain I was an air traffic controller for 17 years like of you course have I have such a strategic brain such a strategic brain and I really started to enjoy it the things like the SWOT and the competitor analysis and I was like I thought they would be like oh yeah that's helpful there you go yeah but I, I really enjoyed it and for for the anyone that's a bit more woo that's listening I've got gene key 63 is my life purpose which is basically a powerful logical mind that helps others yeah so I was like, I'm really enjoying it so I've added more consulting aspects so my one-on-one now is a blend of coaching and consulting there's some mm. done for you aspects in there and I'm actually I'm just redoing my website and there's going to be some consulting only offers with no coaching included oh I love this Emma Louise so so I'd like to just go into that. I know it's a slight diversion, but I would like to talk about that because I think this is really important. Now, obviously, the Conscious Consultant Certification, it's officially um, certifies people as an online business consultant because I'm not, although we teach the foundations of coaching as part of our um, energy methodology, I'm not teaching people to coach. Um, we use that language in some of our promotions because that's what people actually recognize. A lot of people don't recognize consultant and they don't they don't think that that's actually what they're doing because people are confused between what a coach and a consultant and maybe a mentor and a strategist are. I would love you to just share your um, your definition of what's different between a coach and a consultant, because I think that's really important. So for me, of you know, being a coach for a long, long time, I am there to hold that space for the client. I'm there to ask them questions, not in a, you know, are you right or wrong? What's the correct answer? But to yeah. ask them questions where they inquire within themselves and to be able to reflect their answers back to them so that they can see the opportunities for growth. I see it as a very neutral, almost like a sounding board. Yes. And then I'm able to um, reflect something back and support them in taking action. With the consultant, it's much more strategic. Mm. It's I look at it like solving a problem. Yeah. So if they're coming to me and they go, this is my business, this is my offer, this is where I'm marketing and I want to hit this revenue goal, they can give me that and I can go and give them a solution 
And yeah. there's not the back and forth of coaching. There's not the questions. It's the, I have a problem. And then here you go. This is your solution. Go, go and implement it. Yeah, I love that. My definition is exactly the same. And I'm, I'm similar to you. I'm a mixture of coach, consultant, strategist and mentor because, you know, I am a certified mindset coach. I know how to coach. More often, I find myself in the in the mentor consultant role. So actually listening, and coming up with a solution and giving suggestions and 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 actually answering the question. But I think it's so important to highlight those differences. And for me, you know, I think we try to do that inside of the certification when people come in expecting to call themselves a coach. It's just highlighting that difference actually this is giving you the frameworks to be able to tell people and advise people rather than coach them through it and I think it's a really important distinction so thank you for bringing that up so tell us a little bit more about what your business looks like now in terms of you know what you do that might be different your services um, who you're working with just give us a lovely overview of what you're doing now so my clients are introverts, as I've alluded to. I'm in the process of a bit of a rebrand. So I am rebranded from the ambitious introvert to introvert empires. The majority of the clients that I work with are already at or around six figures, but they're at capacity and they want to scale. So for my one-on-one, as I said, it's a blend of coaching and consulting for them to be able to not only to create the strategy that's going to get them to multi six figures or wherever it is they want to be, but also the mindset around leadership and hiring a team and mm. holding more capacity and, you know, mm. all of that good stuff. Um, I'm also about to relaunch the mastermind and that is going to be more structured around that. So it's going to be aimed at the same people. Lovely. And then the group which I created from the certification is still going to run. That's going to be the Ambitious Introvert Academy. And that's going to be a little bit more self-study, but I've got a co-coach on board to support with the mindset and any anxiety parts of that that come up. Um, But it's going to be very much more self-led, giving those people the foundations to start their online business. Oh, I love it. Music to my ears. Thank you so much for this chat. It's been an absolute joy to reconnect with you. Can you please let us know where people can find you if they want to connect? Absolutely. So probably the best place, Instagram, I'm at Emma Lou Parks. And if you're a podcast listener, then the podcast, currently The Ambitious Introvert, shortly changing to Introvert Empires. Amazing. Thank you. Now to my listeners and my viewers, if this has piqued your interest and you would like to find out more about the Conscious Consultant Certification, somewhere around here is a link to our enrollment page, or you can always just reach out to me on whatever channel you're on. And Emma Louise, are they able to reach out to you to find out your thoughts on it as well? Yeah, absolutely. I've had so many people reach out since the first cohort that I've, you know, had either a coffee chat with or some voice notes and they wanted to find out if it's right for them. So yeah, if you've got any questions at all, please feel free. Amazing. Thank you so much, my darling. And thank you for watching and listening.